Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time with my favorite video series to make of the month, my beer and comics. If you're interested in seeing what I got for this month's beer and comics unboxings, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you're getting it in timely fashion. Like I said, um, got some packages in here. This is going to be my first unboxing for 2024. Uh, I'll have some recent, you know, recent purchases. I uh, also have a package here from my good buddy Austin LeMay. I believe I won something from uh, a live stream. And then, of course, the mystery beer box. Um... That I've been doing for quite some time now. Um, like I've said, if you watched my last one I did in December, had some good beers. I'm actually drinking the last beer from that um, monthly beer box, and it's the Scottish Ale. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll put the uh, the little link in there so you can catch that one as well. Um, pretty straightforward. I unbox beer, mystery beer, just like if you're doing like a mystery box for comic books. Um, don't know what's in there. It's typically micro, uh, craft breweries from the United States. More often than not, they're breweries I've never heard of in a great assortment of beers, anything from ales, lagers to porters and stouts, IPAs, you name it. Um, I think only twice, uh, that I get, uh, a repeat brewery and, uh, like I said, they're great beers either way. So, um, you know, let's let's get right into it. I'll start off with the um, with the beer box, and uh, then we'll open up uh, you know a package, and then we'll go from there, and we'll go back and we'll finish it up. So, uh, you know, if you don't um, if you're not you know if you don't drink, that's fine, uh, no big deal. You know, stick around for the comic books. Um, you know, because I do I do pick up some cool books from time to time. At least I think so, <laughs> but uh, that's up to you guys. If um, you know, and you guys just let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. And uh, if you have any of these books, if you've tried any of these beers before, and so forth. So um, we're gonna open this up. And like I said, if you watched any of the uh, videos I've done in the past. This is from the uh, monthlyclubs.com. Like I said, they uh, don't do just beers. They do a little bit of everything, you know, cigars, chocolates, flowers, cheese. They're just a big assortment. They must have a massive warehouse. I have no idea how they do it. But, um, but I only care about the beer. <laughs> and... Uh, just like uh, any other monthly um, subscription, they do give you a little pamphlet, and uh, they tell you the two breweries right on the front. So, um, oh, okay, cool. So, uh, these are two breweries I have not had before, so uh, this will be exciting. Um, looks like Imperian Brewing Company out of Lincoln, Nebraska. And then Big Sky Brewing Company, Big Sky is Montana. Uh, so Missoula, Missoula, Montana. And it actually shows you a picture there of one of the beers. So like I said, there are uh, four different beers, uh, two from each company. And uh, more often than not, they're breweries you've never heard of. Uh, and this one looks like there'll be a long root peanut butter porter. So uh, as you know, this is January. Um, Big time of the year to be drinking heavier beers, stouts, porters, uh, some double IPAs, some cold lagers, and so forth. So um, I'm interested to see what we get. And uh, what I like to usually do from time to time is when I get one of these beers, I'll highlight it with a comic book. And you'll often see the pictures I post on Instagram. So if you haven't, uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, Mark Spector underscore comics. So that's all in my description. You get all that information, so you can uh, follow me on there if you choose to as well. So, uh, so that's like I like to pair the comic books with the beer. I think they go hand in hand, at least for me. They do at least, but 
either that or I drink a nice little sip of whiskey. So um, let's get right into it. Let's see what's in here. Uh, oh, cool. And uh, looks like they threw in some uh, little extras in here. This is the first time I've uh, I've gotten many, many subscriptions from them. And this is the first time they've given me um, stickers. Stickers and or uh, coasters. So I'll show you guys what I got. So uh, there you go. Beermonthclub.com. A nice little sticker. I like these little stickers. Collect them. Put them on my short boxes and whatnot. I do the same when I, uh, you know, get get some stickers from you guys in the community, which means I, I you know, I've been meaning to do it for a while. I mean, want to get like some stickers and or uh, a little bit of swag, like t-shirts or something with my logo on it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and then they got some coasters. These coasters are actually pretty cool. Um, and they say the rare, the rare beer club. Very cool. Got, uh, they threw in four. So that's nice. I like that. So, uh, thanks guys for uh, throwing that in there. Be able to use these. Um, and let's get into, uh, the beer, right? So, um, open this up. I'll uh, show off the first two beers. And, um, and these are all cans. So some they do mix it up. You get cans and you do get bottles. So uh, the first beer is going to be from uh, Big Sky Brewing Company out of uh, Montana. And we got uh, Big Sky Brown Ale. There you go. Pretty cool label. Um, let's see what they say on this. Uh, so 5%, 5% AB, ABV. Which is uh, typically right around what you you want to see from uh, what you expect to get from ales. You know the four to uh, I don't know four to eight range, depending how strong it is. Um, yeah, there you go, big sky brown ale. And then the second one. Oh, this is cool. I I like this label. I like this label a lot more than the other one. This is from Empyrean. Uh, lighting's not helping too much there. Empyrean uh, Brewing Company. See if I can drop that lighting a little bit because it's not helping with the glare. This is a cool label. Look at that. Um, so Scottish style ale. So uh, I haven't had too many Scottish style ales in my uh, lifetime. But funny enough, I am drinking a Scottish ale. <laughs> so uh there you go. It's expanding my uh, my palate a little bit, trying out these Scottish ales. Uh, really cool label. I like how it has the little wizard. A little wizard there. It also says 5.3 ABV. And then uh, looking into a cool backdrop. A little sunset action. And then you got the uh, little planet there. It's probably Saturn. Uh, unless there's some, like, you know, mythical thing going on here. But uh, really cool. It says, inspired by the ales birthed in the land of lock and stone. Wispy hints of smoke characterized through the smooth malty beer. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. Says unfiltered, unpasteurized, all natural. So there you go. Those are the first two beers. And then I'll show off the uh, last two beers after we uh, open up some comic packages, right? So uh, let's do that. I'm going to open up my buddy um, Austin uh, Austin's package. All right, so Austin's a great, great community member. He's also an artist. He does some great, uh, great, great cover art. And uh, let's open this up and see what we got. All right. So the first thing I see here on top, it looks like it's probably an exclusive. But uh, before we get into that, I also got a sticker. Uh, a sticker here from... Um, Austin LeMay. Oh, shoot. Painter's tape is failing me right now. There you go. Boom. We'll just have to take that uh, rest of the painter's tape. So there you go. A little sticker. And then um, let's show off the book. Oh, cool. There you go. This is uh, Batman number 181. Um interesting uh, uh trade dress i like how <laughs> you see batman like that 
Really nice cover of Poison Ivy. Who's this done by? Oh, there you go. Artwork done by uh, Ariel Diaz. Limited to 1,400 copies. That's a nice cover. There you go. Very cool. Nice. Thanks, Austin. Appreciate it. That's really nice. Not too familiar with the uh, the cover artist, but I, I do like that cover. All right. Let's open up one more package, and then we'll finish off with the beer, and then we'll do the... Uh, the final unboxing. All right, so this was, I believe, I believe this was an eBay, an eBay purchase. Yeah, so like I said, I believe this was an eBay purchase. I bought this right towards um, the end of the year, and. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is a slab book, based just based off the way the package looks. And uh, I think I've had too many packages like this. This is pretty, pretty uh, sturdy package. Got some bubble tape, you know, some padding and all that. I do like this. This is nice. Looks pretty well protected. But um, all right, let's take a look. What do we got here? Boom. There you go. Uh, Amazing Fantasy issue number one. This is from, uh, what, 2004? This is the uh, first appearance of Anya Corazon. Nice little Spidey key. Got a 9.8. This is what, a Mark Brooks cover? Yeah. Mark Brooks and uh, Jaime Mendoza cover in art. Fiona Avery story. Um, looks like there's <laughs> a person that had it. Priced at $135. Um, <laughs> I didn't pay that. I ended up getting it on a whim. I bought it on like a Sunday night eBay auction. I think I paid like 80 bucks for it, which was a pretty good buy. And then I had some uh, I had some eBay uh, credit. So I think I only paid like 25 bucks for it. So I thought that was a really nice purchase. And it's a nice cover. So um, there you go. Here's a little unboxing. 9.8. Uh, some guys like to collect the 9.8s. Uh, I just think it's a cool cover. Yeah, a little bit of spec, too. A little bit of spec with that book. Um, all right. Let's finish off. Actually, let's have, a little, let's have a little sip of beer. Scottish Ale. Pretty good. Um, let's finish off with the, the last two beers. And then we'll do the last unboxing. All right. So, um, there you go. This was the um, beer from the cover of the pamphlet we got from Imperium Brewery. Nice, nice label as well. Long Root Peanut Butter Porter. Like I said, porters and stouts are my go-to beers in the winter. They're really good beers. You want heavier beers. Um, this is what? Uh, 6%. So a little bit lighter. Porters can sometimes be on the lighter side too. 6% and it says something along the lines of with the light aroma of peanut butter cup This beer maintains a porter backbone with twisting layers of chocolate peanut butter and toast uh, An appealing balance of beer and peanut butter candy flavors. There you go It also mentions that it's brewed with lactose and flavored with cacao artificial peanut butter and caramel color I don't like that. They use artificial peanut butter feel like you got to use the real deal or just don't do it at all that's just my opinion um so that's that one from uh empyrean that was the second beer oh this is a cool this is probably my favorite my favorite label so i'd be pretty cool to do a, a nice little uh comic book uh cover pairing with this with this uh beer and then this is the second beer from uh, big sky brewing company and this is space goat <laughs> Pale Ale. Look at his label. That's pretty cool. I like that. A little space go action. Uh, ABV. A little light beer. 5.0%. And uh, what's it say on here? Is there any uh, details? Nope. That's it. Uh, so like I said, really cool. I love, I love that label. That's pretty cool. Space go Pale Ale. How can you not like that? Really cool. So it'd be pretty fun if I could find a cool uh, comic book in the PC to pair that with. So um, 
that's the four beers. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed those. If you've tried any of those beers, let me know. Let me know. I would like to hear your thoughts. All right. And then the last unboxing. Uh, I already partially opened it to make it easier, save some time. So, um, one thing I'm not a fan of is the damn packing peanuts. And uh, they threw in a ton. So, uh, that's really annoying. But, you know, it does keep it a little, it does keep it protective. So, um, let's open this up. This was actually a package I purchased last year. You know, so like I said, I've, uh, I got packages still sitting in the, <laughs> in the closet for waiting to unbox. I think I still got one more from last year that I have to open up. Um, so, uh, and then I think I'll be all caught up with my packages. So, um, I bought this from, I believe an auction house and I didn't pay much. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. Um, but it is a cool cover. It's a classic cover in, uh, one of my favorite titles of all time from the Moon Knight volume one. Um, you guys will be familiar with this or you should be at least uh, familiar with this cover when you see it. Um, if you're not familiar with Moon Knight Volume 1, there's a ton of classic uh, Bill Sienkiewicz um, covers. And this is probably one of my favorites in that run. And um, this is from, uh, let's see, March of 1983. Towards the end of the run, I believe it's 30... Eight issues in volume one. Uh, this is, uh, let me show you. Boom. Moon Knight, issue number 29. This is out of CGC 8.0. Beautiful Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Very tough book to get in 9.8 because of the black cover art. Um, let me show you the back if you haven't seen the, black bef the, the, the back before. There you go. It says, next issue, the moment of truth where the werewolf turn and run, or will he tear Moon Knight to pieces? Very cool. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I love this cover. Very cool. And like I said, you can't go wrong. I only paid 30 bucks for it. You know, it's basically the cost to slab it. <laughs> uh, the cover itself... <laughs> The uh, the case itself is like scratched up. I don't know why. You can kind of see it too a little bit uh, over here and over here and on the back. Uh, now, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna complain about it, <laughs> especially for the price. You know, I know it's not worth much, but this is just a cool cover. One of those you can just put up on a wall and just display it because it's just beautiful cover art. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that's my beer and comics for January of 2024. I should be getting another package later on at the end of the month of either January or early February. So I can do my beer and comics for February. So stay tuned for that if you guys like that. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. Uh, comment if you, know, if you enjoyed it. You know, Let me know your thoughts. Um, and uh, if you tried any of those beers... Or if you would like to try any of those beers, you can always check out the uh, Monthly Beer Club. Uh, they have a really good assortment, like I said. Uh, never disappoints. And, uh, yeah, until next time, Mark's Comics, out.